Hey guys, this is Rise, and I'm bringing you a triple commentary. We, that's right, we got the triple commentary powerhouse right here with Mole Trap and Cholera. And uh, what are we here to bring you, do you ask? One of the most epic games that you're going to be watching. That's right, we got Savior in the house. So I'm going to pass it off right to Mole Trap right off the bat because Mole Trap has given one of the most epic Savior intros ever uh, that is also posted on Violet Attack. So uh, I'd love for him to give the intro to this game as well. <laughs> well, I don't know if this is quite going to be epic, exactly. Um, it is Savior versus Type B. Type B being a kind of a mediocre Zerk player. Savior, you know, I like to bag on him a lot. And yeah, I did give a big intro, so I don't want to give it all over again. But basically, we're all the point is we're all watching him right now to see if he's going to live up to his expectation of destroying everyone in 2009. Or if he's just going to continue sucking as he had, did in 2008. Um, so we'll have to see. Although I do actually favor Savior in this. He's usually pretty good at ZVZ. Type B is not good at ZVZ. And he's mediocre in the first place. So I am favoring uh, Savior to win this one. Uh, but let's ask his fanboy and see what he thinks. Colorado, who do you think is going to win? Oh, I think Savior's going to win. <laughs> no, I mean, I think... Uh... This, like I always said, Savior's ZBZ has remained solid, even through the worst of his performances, I think. Uh, it's his best matchup um, nowadays, perhaps. I mean, historically, it was always ZVP, but ZVP has evolved so much, and uh, I'm not sure if Savior has been quite on the, um, I don't know, the forward thinking on ZVP. Uh, although, you know, he happened to be a, a certain MSL champion just about a week ago, uh, or two weeks ago, whatever it was. But obviously, beating Bisu doesn't hurt his reputation at all of uh, of destroying everyone in 2009. Uh, by the way, we do have Savior at the lower right in yellow. It's going to stay yellow. And on the lower left, we have um, Type B. Uh, type B uh, called himself Type B because that is his blood type. Um, and uh, he wants to make sure that... Uh, <laughs> that that he gets the right type of blood when he starts bleeding. He's actually a hemophiliac. Um, but uh, Savior might be might be blooding him a little bit here in this game. I, I do see Savior uh, probably crushing him. Now we'll see if either player decides to go for a 12 hatch. This is one of those few maps where Zerg can actually legitimately go 12 hatch uh, because of um, how narrow that choke is. So we'll see if that happens and uh, how this game plays out. Yeah, but I got to say, man, right off the bat, the scouting is going to play a big role here, I think. Type B is going to have a lot yep. of information on Savior, and uh, Savior is going to have to probably send over a drone scout or something like Well, I doubt he's going to do that, but he is going to have to send over some sort of scout, and uh, his information will definitely be delayed. So the worst thing that could happen for uh, Savior is just a straight build order loss, and it looks like we're seeing a uh, nine pool unless I uh, missed a second overlord. Sorry. Overpool gas and, uh, all right, so it is going to be a, a very mirror matchup, and, and this is going to work out okay for Savior, of course, uh, considering he doesn't have the information. But, of course, Type B doesn't have that information e either yet. I thought that he, uh, he might have gotten that Overlord over there a little bit sooner. But like you mentioned, uh, this is a pretty big map, so uh, it's going to take a while for uh, any Overlords to get anywhere. But uh, Savior is going to know in, in the <laughs> very near future where Type B is, and since he is going for that Overpool build, he is going to be able to get some Lings out uh, uh, very early and go make sure that type B is not going for that 12 hash that you were talking about uh, and, and try to start doing some contained slash harassment I think it's actually yeah, a 9 like pool I'm sorry just let me jump in 9 pool for the other dude just before someone yells at me in the uh, comments 9 pool for the uh, <laughs> yeah, yelled at anyway. type B but go ahead yeah, we'll which of course anyway. they will Yes. Um, yeah, so it looks like both players, uh, just a slight variation in build, so both players pretty much coming out even into this, uh, yeah. oh, I guess, ZVZ is pretty fast, so we could already call it the mid-game. Um, <laughs> Lair's <laughs> going down as well, so it's going to come down, I don't think it's going to be a build order thing at all, it's going to come down to a lot of micro. It looks like Type B is building up a lot of Zerglings, but he's actually going to, oh, never mind, maybe he's going to bring him back. Looked like he was going to miss uh, Savior Zerglings going by, and Savior needs to clump his Zerglings back up so they're effective as a group. Or, but he sees oh, that, okay, now he sees that he's links. a little bit outnumbered, he's going to fall back. He's going yeah. speed first, so type I think. B, Who's going speed first? Uh, it's type B went speed first, I think, because uh, they were showing oh. us his his uh, his base, and uh, the fact that he's brought so built so many links, I think, uh, lets me think he's going to go speed first. Yeah, that's and he does. Um, There's speed. Yeah, it's speed first. There we yeah. go. That's speed, and that's gonna be really dangerous for Savior now. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, the Type B really has the advantage in the Lings right now. He needs to do some damage. Look at Savior's Lings. They are slow Lings, but uh, the, the window of time isn't that big, though. Savior's only about the time it takes to mine 100 gas um, behind for a speed upgrade. Savior, meanwhile, putting on a Spire. I thought that was a Sunken Colony. Oh, no! Could lose his Spawning Pool, though, but Type B not committing there. I think he should have, um, because right now his Lings are much more powerful. Uh, they'll just uh, deal more damage, be more effective in combat in general. He's going to go and attack. He is going to come out ahead. No, but not by much. No, he doesn't come out ahead. Wow, I think he attacked wow. a little bit late there. I think he should have gone for the pool. A uh, little bit strange here from Type B. Um, type B, oh, now going for the Spire. Uh, no, not going for anything. He needs to commit to an attack, man. He is behind on the Spire, as we see. There's some Savior's girlfriends praying for him. And uh, Savior Spire is about 200 hit points ahead. And it looks like it might go up if he continues this uh, defense as he's been doing. You know, both players just... Um, Running on very few drones, though. Neither has built a second hatch, but I think Savior is going to be ahead if he can uh, survive until the Spire is done. Yeah, this definitely paid off for Savior. I mean, I, I really expected Type B to do a lot more damage here as well. He should have e at least taken out the Spawning Pool. If not, uh, I thought he could have taken out the Spire early enough where he could have taken it yeah. uh, out and at least delayed it to even it up. And now that Savior's got speed links himself, it's really not going to matter. Although Savior uh, does seem a little bit worried here. Uh, maybe he's thinking of an all-in Ling built uh, type build. And, oh man, Type B going back in for the attack, but Savior has come out wow. ahead. And at this point, Fail. it looks to me like uh, at Type B is totally going to lose this match. I mean, Savior has defended uh, th the only build that, that Type B had going for him with all those links, and now he's making his yeah. Muta way ahead of Type B. Those Muta are, uh, may even get to the base of Type B before that sp uh, before he can pop anything out himself. Uh, I can only imagine that Type B is going to try to go some scourges to deal with the early Muta, but uh, I, I, I can't see him coming back from this position. I do feel he's behind it. Savior is in Type B's base, and he's still got a, a, a almost superior force of links. A superior micro at the very least. Oh, he takes out beautiful. all the lings of Type B. Wow. Now he's on the drones. And this is... Woo. Oh, and more lings coming Maji in. Yun. And that is going to kill. Oh, my God. And look at the dancing drones. As Type B <laughs> is just uh, losing the all running this running mining right. time. And that's, that's GG. There's no way oh, he can come back Oh, the drones go down. The drones yeah, go down. It, and that was key. <laughs> I was waiting for uh, someone yeah. to kill drones. Because they were trading lings, but... No drones had gone right. down yet, and then when Savior killed the first couple drones, that was it. But now, oh, Type B has a drone left. Drone. Type B should just leave. <laughs> he's got a he drone should should leave now. Links. He's got, yeah, he should leave. I mean, he's got, uh, he's going to try a micro. Let's see how good his uh, anti-scourge micro is. At least, if you're focusing on only one thing, you should be able to take out those scourge. Looks like he gets one <laughs> scourge down, gets down the second no. scourge. All right, dude, you got your anti <laughs> Uh, you got your anti-scourge micro down. Um, obviously, he's trying to win it here with three mutalisks against uh, a mining base uh, with <laughs> no drones down, as Savior has. Uh, obviously, that's not going to work either, but um, here he goes. Savior puts out a sunken colony just, just because he can. <laughs> not that there's any lings to, to defend against, but uh, at this point, it's academic. Even if Savior loses... Um, He's not going to lose, but uh, it doesn't matter. He's not going to lose this war. <laughs> uh, you know, overall, it was a build order loss, though, pretty much. And uh, sort of a poor decision making from GG. the other Zerg player, Type B. Um, you know, he did go 9 pool against Over pool, which is pretty hard to come back to, uh, come back from also. PWND, man. He just got pwned. Uh, good job to Savior. I guess you guys called it correctly. He did end up winning, of course. So, uh, you know what? Oh, Why don't we go to do give his some next high fives? Game? And then he's going to go back in the booth. Uh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Let's go watch this. Well, uh, he's just giving some some high fives. Nice. Savior's going to have his work cut out for him, though, because, uh, well, I don't, it's not really a spoiler, but the next game, the way this works, Savior stays in the chair, and someone else comes out to face him, and Lita, who is an awesome oh, PvZ, is going to be his next opponent. Oh. Let's All right, go I'm it. excited GG. now. Let's do it. GG.